I believe that what makes a successful electrical rough-in in all SIP structures is the installer doing their job. And their job is to think about how the electrician gets wire from point A to B. This means that they must pre-drill panels to allow for the wire to come up through the basement or the crawl space. And in this case, you'll notice that the installer has marked the deck. And this is where an inch and a half hole comes up through the sole plate and allows the electrician down below to push the wire up and through a vertical chase up to, which will be a box mounted roughly in this location. This gives that information to the electrician that he needs to know so that he understands how his wire is going to move up into the panel. So if I'm standing at the base of the panel right here, I'm looking at the inside skin and this is the bottom of our panel. What wall group did we just cut? C, right? So we go over here and we look looking for our C wall, which is right here. And the C wall, coming from the left side, is going to have an electrical case at one foot. And I'm going to call that 100 and 3 quarters inches. <laughs> the electrical uh, needs a bit of work with advantage too, I guess. You This bit is designed specifically for cutting OSB. And what we've done is made a very, very simple template. It is nothing more than another piece of OSB with a couple of brackets, such that the height of this is exactly where we want our box. When we go through, Notice what's right there is that horizontal chase. This horizontal chase runs all the way along this wall, comes over here to where I've created this access hole where the installer has labeled and marked the deck and the wall so the electrician can now bring his wire up this vertical chase to this height where I can then pull the wall wire over to where the box is going to go and then I'm simply going to take the plug, put it back in the hole, foam it up, cover it up, and once we're done, you'll never know that the electrician came this way. This wall has a 14 inch chase, 14 inches above finished floor right here, running horizontally. This wall, however, doesn't. In some cases, if we need to turn the corner and we can't do it in the floor system, we can merely take the ship auger's bit and crisscross holes to allow this horizontal chase access through this lumber and then drill again the other direction, and pull the two together, and then foam it back up when we're done. come out, reach in here, turn it around, and push it back out here to get access into this wall.
When we push the wire, often times I'll do, and so we don't get a sharp edge, is we'll roll it over, tape it up, and then we have the ability to just push it straight through. You got it over there? Pull it out to the uh, box. Good. And there's our wire over there, okay? Now I'm going to turn the corner, I'm going to come back in here, I'm going to turn the corner again, and I'm going to go up to there. push it all the way up to the switch. How we do? Pretty simple? Okay. Drill access holes to get into the wall. If we're not going to put a plug or a switch box there, then we want to close it back up. We can close it back up using a single component phone. Block of wood off, the foam expands in and around that plug, seals it in perfectly tight, and you'll never know we were in the wall when we're done. 